Hey guys, welcome back. It is the one and only Diana and we are back with Unheard. I realized that there is only five levels, so this is going to be the last video and I guess let's just get into it, right? Interesting. Then someone used the director to commit the murder. Okay, so that was a really good detective. case. You've passed the test. Unfortunately, there's no time to celebrate. The real work is about to begin. Okay, let's get into this. The four events you just examined all happened in the past. Now, we need you to use the acoustic detective system to figure out a currently unsolved Sorry, I'm just adjusting the volume. Case. This one involves another explosion, only in a mental hospital, rather than a police station. It's... how should I put it? Mm, peculiar. A number of agents have already attempted to solve it. None of them succeeded. And there were... complications. Go, please, go, please, go, please, go, please. Okay, so let me actually just take a moment to pause uh, because I am going to move myself. All right, guys, we are back into it. I just moved myself over the names. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 14 names there. And I'm going to be placing them on the characters when we figure them out, figure them out. So... I figured if I were over here, it's a little better because I'm not blocking the questions and I'm not blocking the screenplay. But anyway, let's get into it. I do see three people here. I do want to walk around and just double check where everyone is. So we have one more person here. Two, oh, two people here. Okay. We have three tours of front. No one in the hallway. There is glass breakage here. No one in that office. Okay. I think there's someone here. Two people here. Okay. Oh. Two more people here. Okay. And then two more people here. Okay. One person there. One person here. And then one other one here. Okay. Oh, I'm a sound chaser. I didn't even listen to anything, but I got that achievement. So I guess you could just go from room to room. I did see that was an achievement, but I didn't think that we would be doing that throughout the video. Um, okay. Okay. Editing this out. Okay. Yeah, so let's get into it. Let's start over here since that's where the game started us. Hello, welcome in officers. How can I help you? I heard your siren. I'm Elvira. This is my partner. Are you in charge here? Yeah, yeah. I am the administrator of this facility. To what do we owe this visit? You look a little young to be running this place. Anyway, we're here to investigate reports of an escape. Aha, uh -huh. yeah, about that. We're dealing with it internally. It's a minor incident. Not that big of a deal, really. Not that big of a deal. This is a mental institution. Some of our patients are highly agitated, and a few from time to time attempt to escape. This one happened to be successful. We have people out searching. But often the patients return on their own volition after a day or two. How did it happen? This time, I mean. Hmm. Let me recall. I was... Ah, right. We were having a therapy session when the patient suddenly picked up an ashtray and hit me on the head. Then jumped out the window. Your head seems fine to me. 
Oh, it wasn't a heavy blow. And in this profession, you must be prepared for these sort of outbursts. Roar with the punches, as they say. Uh, truth be told, this situation is very embarrassing, which is why I didn't want to call the police. You might not have called us, but someone did. You also confirmed that one of your patients escaped, which means we're now legally obligated to investigate. A psych case on the loose poses a threat not only to themselves, but to the public. Take us inside. We'll need to interview the other inmates. And get us their files. Interview? You want to talk to them? Where are the patients? Just show us the way and we can conduct the investigation ourselves. Well, if you insist. This way, please. How did this window break? This is where the patient escaped. Be careful of the glass on the floor. I need to see this patient's file. Ah, you mean patient number 68? What do you want to know, officer? I've spent so much time with everyone here that I can practically recite their files from memory. Hold up. Why is this gate open? No wonder you're... I'm going to pause because it's still super quiet for me. I'm just going to up that and then I'm just going to double check because I don't want to make sure the game isn't quiet for you guys. That's why. Okay, so we're going to do that. Okay, we are ready to go. Trying to cover up how easy it is to slip out of here. All the doors are unlocked. Unlocked? Ah, yeah, that was me. I apologize. I was in such a hurry to greet you earlier, I forgot to lock it behind me. <laughs> oh, don't worry, though. I've been here the whole time. I can assure you that no one else escaped. Let's check inside. Okay. Our day room. As you can see, all our patients are quite well cared for. Wouldn't you say? Nice decor in board games doesn't change the fact that they're still stuck in a mental facility. Hey, hey, new arrivals! Grab your clothes and toiletries! Huh? Who are you? None of your concern. Pick your seat and sit down. I don't want any trouble. Who's this guy? Patient number 27 has a non-bizarre grandiose delusional disorder. He thinks he's a caregiver here. The hospital is short-handed, so we usually leave him be. Saves us from having to hire more help. People here are more nutso than I thought. What's she doing? Watching TV. But the TV isn't even on. What's your name? Patient 42 suffers from severe social anxiety that manifests as selective mutism. She talks to no one. Hmm. Neither of these two are going to be any help. Let's split up and canvas the rest of the place. Check the room over there, would you? On it. <laughs> Patience here? Yes. Speak for yourself. I ain't no lunatic. But you are! I told you I ain't! What's going on here? Are you okay? It was my older brother. He has mental problems. Shut up! I'm as sane as ever! You're the crazy one! I'm crazy? Uh, sorry, officer. I was talking to my brother. All right, then. Ma'am, mind if I ask what you're in here for? I'm a reporter. Before you got sick, you mean. I actually did want to know what it was that got you committed. Are you a police officer? Yeah. Then, will you believe the things I'm about to tell you? Depends. Let me hear them first. I'm a reporter. A few months ago, I received a tip saying this hospital was conducting some kind of clandestine experiments on its patients. I disguised myself and checked in to investigate. I've collected all the information I need, but now I can't prove I wasn't sick in the first place, or that I've recovered. So I'm stuck here with no way to publish my findings. What exactly have you found? Here, they use a treatment method on their patients called TAT, Thematic Apperception Test. But it's not the TAT most people know today. Rather, they use the prototype used back during World War II. Basically, it brainwashes people. After the test, patients' memories will be completely erased, and they're conditioned as well. 
They're programmed to respond to certain sounds, after which they'll follow any command. The hospital then goes on to claim they've been cured, but the truth is they're nothing more than soulless robots. Tell me, officer, if you were a patient, would you want to be cured that way? You've absolutely got to get me out of here. I have to expose them. Check my notes. I've got all the evidence right here. I gotta say, that sounds more like a sci-fi flick than reality. All right, let me see your notes. Wow, don't skimp on details, do you? Let me ask you something else. You ever notice any patients in here who seem like they don't belong? Like they're faking their illness? Yeah, me. And besides you? Honestly, from what I've seen, at least 44% of the patients here are actually sane, but they've been committed regardless. Makes me think this hospital's next step is to experiment on normal people. That's quite the theory. What about him, huh? Seems pretty legit. Schizophrenia, maybe. He's sick, but it's not schizophrenia. You made a mistake any layman would make. What he has is called dissociative identity disorder. That's where you have multiple personalities. In his case, two. Huge difference between that and schizophrenia. <laughs> I see. That I'll have to remember. Wait just a second. Aren't you getting me out of here? Afraid I can't. At least, not yet. I'll come back once our investigation wraps up. You don't believe me either, do you? So the watchdogs of society, or haven't you heard? That obligation rep, you, you don't believe. Why you even bother, Nelly? Journalists are the watchdogs of society. Or haven't you heard? Yeah, and what good did any of that do you, huh? The cops didn't even believe you. <laughs> You've heard about the Unabomber, correct? Huh? Who do you think I am? Of course I heard of him! Mm-hmm. Henry Murray, the inventor of TAT, used his test to evaluate soldiers during World War II. During the Cold War, he used it to interrogate spies. But did you know that he also gave it to innocent students back in 1959? Oh yeah? What's all that got to do with the Unabomber? Are you kidding me? Well, it just so happens that a certain 17-year-old boy, Ted Kaczynski, was one of his unwitting test subjects. And, well, you know the rest. Over a period of 18 years, he ended up making and sending at least 16 bombs. What I'm trying to say is, Destroying someone mentally can have repercussions far beyond one person. Well, I'll be damned. Then that Henry Murray fella's got blood on his hands, too. I don't know if I'd go that far. Science and all the experiments that go along with it are... Well, they're not wrong. It's just that sometimes people can get in so deep that they lose track of the boundaries of morality. I have nothing against the doctors here. Really. I simply want to get the truth out. It's my hope that people can learn to respect humanity while still pursuing science. You move me. A reporter with a heart of gold. <laughs> you know, if Mr. Director had his say, he'd just... Shut up! He told you not to tell anyone! All right, all right, all right. My lips are sealed. Hmm. Okay. So I'm heading back until um, Elvira comes into this room. Both so of you. Right about here. And then we're going to follow the director. Are you both patients here? Oh, oh God. Oh, God. My stomach. I, 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 sorry. I, 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 hey. I gotta go. And just where do you think oh, you're sorry. going, pal? Sit back down. You can leave when I say oh. you can leave. Which is after you've answered my questions. Okay, okay. Whatever you say. Both of you sit down and behave yourselves. I want you to answer the officer's questions. Also, officer, I don't understand what you hope to gain by interrogating these patients. That's a nice costume you got there, officer. Pretty convincing, even. Your lines, on the other hand, have room for improvement. You can't start off that strong. You lose any sense of foreshadowing. 
just makes the audience feel off. We've nicknamed patient 49 Mr. Director. Uh, believe it or not, he suffers from something called the Truman Show Delusion. In his mind, he's making a masterpiece, and we're all just actors. We rely on role-playing therapy to treat patients like these. Uh, trying to interrupt or correct him would just get us nowhere. But if we play along, he'll calm down soon enough. Mr. Director? I'd like to ask you a few questions. Who are you, really? Look me straight in the eye. That's how you do it. Much better, much better. You gotta have a quiet sense of intimidation. You don't need a shout to be coercive. Go back and re-enter through the door. Let's shoot this scene again. What the hell? Please, officer, he meant no harm. Remember, I mentioned some of our patients are likely to initiate contact. Well... What about that one, huh? Mr. Bathroom Emergency. Was that real? Or just some excuse so he could leave? Him? <laughs> He's a thief. Hey! That, 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 that's defamation, you hear me? I'm a law-abiding citizen. Behave! Patient number 36 suffers from an impulse control disorder commonly known as kleptomania. He simply cannot stop himself from stealing. Doesn't matter the person or place. <laughs> I didn't realize sticky fingers were a disease. But he's already in here, so why'd he try to run? Old habits die hard, I suppose. This one was constantly being hounded by the police. Arrested multiple times. The sight of you probably triggered a conditioned response from him. Bullshit! Just ask around, when did I ever get caught, huh? Ha! You're saying you never got caught? Then why did you end up here, hmm? He was a repeat offender, you see, always stealing old phones. The police found it so odd that they gave him a psychiatric evaluation. And wouldn't you know it? He was certifiable. So, instead of sending him to prison, they sent him here. Quite the nutcase, I see. Yeah, well, we are doing our best to treat them. Let's check the next room. The way I see it, officer... This wasn't that big of an issue to Are you done, this. Tony? No. Why is this room locked? That is the seclusion room. Open it. <laughs> I would strongly advise against that. Anybody in there? Who the fuck's out there? You get in here, you cocksucker! I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill you! I'm gonna kill all of you! I must warn you. This patient might be dangerous. He suffers from episodes of acute mania and violent psychosis. I told you to open this door. Just do it. All right, all right. Just give me a second. I need to find the key. Which one was it again? Is this one? No, not this one. This will only take a second, I assure you. Ah, here it is. Great. Open it up. I'll just wait. I Who the flying fuck are you? I'm gonna straight up bash your fucking brains in! All right, I'm gonna need you to calm down, sir. You get that fucking duck away from me, you hear? He fucked me up! I can't think straight. I'm gonna slit his fucking throat, you hear that, huh, Doc? Huh? I'm gonna fucking murder you! Tell the doctor he can leave, Elvira. Here. You can leave now. I'm not sure how interviewing someone like him will help, but you're the police, not me. Just be careful. How was I doing, Mr. Director? Like a real professional, yeah? It was an exceptional performance. Not only did you deliver your lines with what? passion and bravado, your improvisation was on point. Always adjusting your lines and tones to correspond with the other actor's delivery? You truly are a master thespian! Yeah, well, you didn't have to give me such a hard time! Sorry. Occupational hazard. Once I get in character, I'm no longer reciting lines. I am the character. Now, I don't like to brag, but... <laughs> That wasn't even the best performance I ever given. For most of my roles, I've done months of research. If I had more time, I'd have checked myself into a real mental hospital for at least six months. 
Stanislavski's system pushes me to fully embody my characters by learning how they really live. Yes, yes, of course. Uh, what about the cops? Have they left? Good thing you heard the siren and figured out a plan quick. If you hadn't sent me out there to stall them, God knows what they would have found by now. What are they even investigating? The runaway patient? Yeah, that's what they said. But, at least to me it seemed like that was just a cover-up. They didn't even check out the room where number 68 escaped. They barely even looked out the window, too. Nope. Both of them went straight to the patient rooms. You don't think they're looking for Jennifer? Could they be on to our plan? Jennifer. At first, that's what I thought, too. But now, not so sure. Seemed more like they were going around looking for someone sane. Then they've lost their minds as well. Looking for sane people inside a mental hospital? Cops are a bunch of idiots anyway. I'm gonna go out and check again. I'll let you know. I'll go check room one as well. Let's go! Don't wait for me! Stop following me! Did you talk to the police, Silver Spoon? I did! I did too. Did you notice anything strange? That lady cop had a real attitude. Kept saying I had schizophrenia. Well, you've got it! You're a complete schizo! Don't interrupt me. Just... just stop talking already. Both of you are giving me a headache. The cop that questioned Silver Spoon was a chick, Mr. Director. That means there's more than one of them. You think they're on to us? Maybe we change the plan? Make a run for it while we still can? I mean, the gate is wide open. No, the show can't end like this. Don't you want to know the truth? After all this time, the lies, the manipulation, don't you crave retribution? Lies ain't the half of it. They probably want to steal my company while I'm not there too. Your company? When did it become your company, huh? Oh, shut up about your stupid company. No one cares. Yeah, well, either way, it's time for the doctors here to pay up. Right you are about that. Our plan is already in motion. With the doctors under our control, all we need to do is wait mm. for the police to leave. Then this hospital will be ours. Yeah, well, I still don't get how the police knew to show up at just the right moment. You know, someone must have ratted on us. Hmm, you make a someone good point. Someone did call, so. Who could have called the police then? George? Nah, he was already in with the maestro before any of us even did anything. Probably doesn't even know what's going on. Jennifer then? Well, this could turn out bad for us. If the cops were to search the bathroom. Jennifer, no, I can't be her. I, I stole a phone. What? I thought I told you to There's lock her in up, the not steal her phone. Give it here. <laughs> hmm. Recent calls. Well, the last call she made wasn't to 911. Why don't we try calling it? You can't just do that. We don't know who it'll call. Looking at me for him. We don't know who it'll call. I, I saw Clep, Silver Spoon, Oscar. Oh, right. Gun that door this whole damn time. Help. Okay, so far oh. I haven't been able to find oh. who the phone is ringing for. I thought I told you for hours. Yeah, well, I still don't get how the police knew to show up at just the right moment. You may call the police then. George? Natural. Jennifer then? Well, this Jennifer? No, I... Bone, give it here. <laughs> Up to 911. Okay. Oh, do that. We don't know who it'll call. I'm going to make a note that this is the phone call. Okay. Right out here. Nothing here. There's nobody. Oh, there's somebody here. Okay, let's go back. They surrounded oh. the Janelle Sky High. Poof, check for a ride. Right here. He can blow the place sky high and vanish into the wind again. Poof. Sounds right up his alley. Anyone who sees his face dies. Not this time. <laughs> check this out. 
What the hell is that thing? Looks like some kind of sci-fi gizmo. It's a microcontroller infrared scrambler. Got it from a catalog for $29.95. Batteries mm. not included. Okay, I, I want to go it. back to when Nelly came in here. Uh, actually, let me see the conversation right before she leaves. Let's see. There might be something there. Can we go here? No, it's definitely real. Sounds like it's coming from next door. All of you are hearing things. Need to up your meds. Oh, I thought the knocking was from here. I'll go so check. Someone's in the bathroom, okay? Just follow Miss Nelly. Two people. Who's that knocking? Ray, what are you doing here? Who did this to you? I'll explain everything later. Quick, untie me. I can do that, but only on one condition. Just say it. Wh whatever you want me to do, I'll do it. Within my power, of course. You need to prove to everyone else that I'm not crazy so I can get discharged. Consider it done. I knew you weren't crazy a long time ago. Perfect. Then you can get me out of here. Well, I I'll do my best, but, but remember, I'm just a caregiver. The doctors are the ones who have the final say. Oh, speaking of doctors... Uh... Ray is a caregiver. That way we know who is the mental patient. Oh, jeez. Jennifer's in the room next door. We gotta save her, too. Dr. Jennifer? Dr. Jennifer. <laughs> Doctor? Dr. Jen. Doctor, wake up! <clears throat> Where am I? What happened? Someone apparently knocked you out. Got some blood on you there. I remember that much. But why am I in the bathroom? Can't help you there. Wait, you went out cold, Ray. What happened? Huh? huh? Hey, what are you- uh, Ray! What the fuck? You oh, killed her! Geez. She'll be fine. Anyway, better her than us, right? What are you even talking about? What's going on? Okay, so here's what happened. While you were treating patient number 68 earlier, you remember that, right? I was talking with James. The two of us heard this loud noise all of a sudden, so, so I went to check. Turns out 68 broke the window and took off. By the time I came to check up on you, you were already out cold. I had this cracked ashtray next to you, too. This got me all in a panic. So I didn't notice that the gate to the inpatient sector wasn't locked. Next thing I knew, a, a bunch of patients had all gotten out. They they charged me, tied me up, and threw me in the bathroom. Then, then they dragged you in after I was tied up. Jesus Christ. Then Nellie was in on this, too? She doesn't really strike me as the violent type. I don't know about that. But I'm not taking any risks. They're all crazy. Who knows what they're capable of? But what is it they're trying to do? And why didn't you call the police when you had the chance? Everything happened so fast. One second, I was trying to figure out what happened to you. The next, those psychos jumped me. Huh? Where's my phone? Don't tell me they took it. Oh, wait. Oh. God damn it, it's gone! <sighs> Not my phone, something else. Uh, 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 you know, caregivers aren't allowed to bring phones inside the hospital. You know, that's the rule here. Well, that's stupid. What do we do now, then? We can't even call the police. How many people did you see in here earlier? Don't tell me everyone is in on this. Uh, I saw Clep, Silver Spoon, Oscar, oh, right, and Mr. Director. I'm telling you, it was chaos. There might have been more of them. I don't know. And all of them working together? They're not even suffering from the same illness. This is certainly a first. What do you think they're trying to do? Escape? So, uh, they, they took the keys, but as far as I know, they haven't left. All I could tell was that Mr. Director seemed to be the ringleader. Something about m manipulation and brainwash. Then it's a coup? 
A coup? Yeah, the they want to take over the hospital. That's why they didn't escape. You haven't seen George, have you? Nope. Maybe he's still in the treatment room? Is that an alarm? Uh, probably somebody's alarm clock. I wouldn't worry about it. Then what do we do? It's only a matter of time before they find us here. Honestly, I think the two of us could hold them off. Klepp, he's basically a stick. Oscar's a wuss. Silver Spoon's lucky if he isn't fighting himself. And Mr. Director, he's an old man. The only reason they got the jump on me last time was because they, they caught me off guard. But you and I, we'll have the element of surprise next time. Why don't we just sneak into the director's office and use the landline to call the police? Hey, good idea. Come on, let's go. Whoa. Stay calm. We've got this. No looking around, just stay quiet. You think you can fool me? Oh, this is an explosion. That's why she said it's similar to the... She probably mentioned it and I completely forgot. <laughs> okay, uh, so I still don't know who this is. I'm curious if anything happens here because do we have people in here? No. And then we just have these guys. So let's see if anything happens here. I am very curious about these two rooms here. So we'll go back to it in a little bit. nothing much here i am going to go back for this room before we head there so let's find out what this one oh someone's here where are you going hey, i'm Murphy, getting distracted Murphy, 300 Murphy. bucks pay up oh i know i know but you gotta wait till after i get out i got no money in this shit hole hey you want to do business with me you do it my way that means no credit. I already made an exception letting you try out the phone. And now that you know it works, you gotta pay up. He's a klepto. Unless you want me to tell Jennifer you stole her phone. But probably. Don't be a rat. No, fine. How about I just give it back, huh? Then you can sell it to someone else. Uh, I, I, I can live with that. Hand it over. Wait. Before you leave, do you know if they caught patient number 68 yet? The one who escaped? Uh, nope. Not as far as I know. What about the police? They here yet? Now that you mention it, Mr. Director did say he heard a, uh, a siren earlier. Perfect. Anyway, here's your phone. Ah, no, no, no hard feelings, huh? Uh, next time, if you got money, we can do business. The phone. Did we check the phone here? Business deal. All taken care of now, though. Business deal? I told you to lock those two in the bathroom. That's uh, uh I, I did, I, I did. Don't, don't, don't worry. But, uh, but what, what about George, huh? We take care of Jennifer and Ray, but leave George. Shouldn't we lock him up too? George is conducting one of those brain goggle sound experiments on the maestro. If we interrupt them, there's a chance we'll fry our friend's mind. Fine, well, let him be for now. But what if the police decide to barge in there later? I've made a... He's made arrangements. I think he made the bomb. Oh, there's two. Oh, he's doing that sound thing. Why is it you wanted me to meet you here, George? Actually, I wanted to ask you a favor, Maestro. You're an expert when it comes to art, yes? I was hoping you could evaluate a painting for me. <laughs> You've come to the right person, not to boast. Okay, forgive me if you have watched every episode or have had experience with this game and I didn't remember because it's been a while. Maestro, as in the painting, like the guy who faked his painting because he wanted it to be reported stolen. That maestro? Is that him? I think so, right? 
that, but uh, a piece's price can increase considerably if I say good things about it. Has of to course, be. of course. Please, sit. The picture's right here. If you could just take a look. What is this? This isn't artwork. This is a map? Indulge me, if you would, and listen to the music. Anything? There is something. Wait. I need to uh, get my thoughts straight. Uh, take your time. This is the game's music, like the intro scene, menu. I like how they added it into the game. Yeah. Oh, it's distorted. Let's see if they talk again. do you see? I see a, an interrogation. Yes, inside a police station. Who are the police interrogating? I don't... Oh, wait. Yes. I know this voice. Silver Spoon? What are they questioning Silver Spoon about? Something about... Drugs. It, yes, I remember Silver Spoon mentioning this before. Excellent. Let's move on to the next picture. Another one? What about the painting you said I was here to evaluate? What's going on? What are you doing to me? Don't worry, Maestro. It's just a small test. One more picture, and we're done. Uh, uh, another map? Do you recognize this place? Mm, it looks familiar. Uh, yes, I know. Uh, an art gallery. Describe the art gallery for me. It's crowded. Oh, Silver Spoon is, um, the twins. Whoa, okay. An exhibition will start soon. Wait. There's an empty frame? But why? Because of you. Exactly. <laughs> why is that? Give me just a... a moment. No, no. It can't be that either. But then, who took it? The, the real painting? It's fine. Take your time. <laughs> Wait, are we so are we as a character playing similarly to how Maestro was playing because we were going through all these scenes too? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna scroll until they're talking again, but interesting. I'm also wondering if Nelly and Jennifer yes, is see. part of the play one, but we'll see. Oh, it's Sean. Yes. <laughs> nice to see you again. Oh, and Ms. Reeves is here too. The painting was stolen. Someone stole my painting! No, no, that's not it. I had my own painting stolen. It, it was part of my exhibition. I spent so much time and effort on my painting. 
I would never let someone steal it. It was all part of my plan. <laughs> yes, the painting was retrieved in the end, too. The lost art return. <laughs> oh, I'm afraid your symptoms haven't improved. What are you talking about? Didn't you ask me to evaluate paintings for you? This was an evaluation, except it was a psychiatric one. We call it the thematic apperception test. What? A psychiatric evaluation? Yes. Tailor-made for your symptoms. I also use role-play therapy to supplement the effects. Unfortunately, the results are far from promising. I... What's... Wrong with me, exactly. We used images to hypnotize you, allowing you to see and hear things from your past. Mm. When you saw an interrogation, you could remember the story Silver Spoon told you. The problem is, when you saw the image reflecting yourself, you weren't able to differentiate between delusion and reality. You sank further and further into your own fantasy story, allowing you to escape from the bleakness of your own reality. You staged the whole theft. Quite the coincidence, and a little too convenient, don't you think? George, doctor, what you said. Dr. George. I don't quite understand. Don't worry about it. You know everything you need to know. Now, answer me one question. Who are you? I'm the ma... No. No, I'm... Mm. Patient number 29. Yes. There you go. Perfect. Now, Jeez. just make sure you keep taking your medication on time. And trust me. You will get better. All right. That's just crazy to think. Is he knocked? <laughs> Patient 29 shows little improvement. If anything, his symptoms may be worsening. For situations with which he has an anecdotal connection, he is able to discern the projected narrative from reality. But in cases where he has direct experience, his ability to distinguish between the two is severely blurred. I'm wondering if the phone call hard. will go to George. So I strongly recommend continued treatment with antipsychotic medication. We are almost to the phone well call point, so I'm going to stay here. And then I'll to go to those two rooms improve. in the upper right. And we should schedule him for a full reassessment in six weeks' time. Oh, and also, the only names that we're missing right now is Emily, James, and Oscar. Why isn't the gate locked? Doc, I need you to turn over the key to room four. Huh? Who are you? How did you get in? I'm a police officer. We're here to investigate a case. Police? Who let you in? Do you have a search warrant? Of course I do. It's right in here. Yeah, r right there. Just on that table over there. Ah! Hey, why'd you knock out George? What did he do? Was in the way. They all know each other. Okay. So are they the mental patients? Um, and George is definitely not in it. Got knocked out. Yeah. And then I do want to bring up just really quickly because I keep thinking about it. Look at that. You're next. Okay, we'll go back. Uh, so I'm still waiting for that phone call. And then we're going to redo these rooms because it's interesting how they know each other. And why did Tony go in here later on? No one's in there. Okay, we'll figure that out. We'll figure that out. Wanted to see our search warrant. See if he's got the key on him.
Here. Found them. Tony and I'll check out room four. You clean this up. On it. That was weird. Okay, I'm just gonna fast forward to the phone call. I, I don't... Actually, you know what? We could just stay. I feel like it's gonna pop up soon, right? They're probably unlocking that, that room right now. They're gonna have the phone call. Come on, phone call. Okay. All right, so it definitely wasn't George. So we're going to go back. I am going to go over here. <laughs> Hello? Anybody in here? We gone out already. What? What? Empty. He escaped them? What's going on here? Don't tell me our ghost made like a ghost. This doesn't make any sense. This room's at the very end of the hall. He'd have to go by my room to get out. And I've had eyes like a hawk on that door this whole damn time. Hell, I was still paying attention during that whole crazy act earlier. No, man. Something's not right. Look at the dust on the floor. Gotta be at least an inch thick. But the only sets of footprints in here are yours and mine. No one's been in here for a long time. Well, I'll be damned. But there's no way in hell I was wrong. Let me check again. No one under the bed. Huh. What about this big chest here? You don't think he hid the money in it, do you? A chest? Wait, don't touch it! What the? A trap! That fucker played us like a fiddle. Now he knows we're here. We need to pull out. Uh, and here I thought fiddlers stuck to roofs nowadays. You know, I'd much prefer you use that mental energy to get us the hell out of here. Oh, yeah, because I can just waltz out of here looking like this. All we need is a little improv. Tony, arrest him. We'll escort him right out of the building. Huh, good arrest? idea. That's March. We've got our man. Let's... Clap Office. goes here. And then the explosion happens. Why does Clep go there? Oh, I hate when that does that. Okay, so I'm gonna go really quickly. Hello. Clep. Okay, he's starting to walk now. So let's head over. Because it's just this girl. The only girl I have left is Emily. So I'm gonna name her Emily for now. He should be moving soon. Another person that we could check on is Maestro for the phone call. Not hey, sure Emily, matters, you gotta turn that it thing is on before you can watch it. <laughs> There's this thing What's called that? a You're remote. Holding, Emily. No, you do this to me! <laughs> I ran as if that was gonna affect me. <laughs> okay, uh, so I'm gonna go here because I don't know who those guys are. I just walked in. They're probably James and Oscar. So we're gonna go towards here. Where are they? I don't even see them. Oh, there they are. Why isn't the... Who would they be here? Dies. Oh. Not this. Okay, let's Dies. see. So, where did you guys come from? Along with Mr. Dr Why were the police... What the hell's going on? Why were the police here? Things are getting out of control. I was just playing along with Mr. Director and the other crackpots, right? Figured if we really did take over the hospital, it'd be much easier to look for ghosts. No way it's a coincidence. You notice anything off about those cops? Well, they were definitely looking for someone. That much was obvious. But the way they were interrogating every single patient makes me think they're after ghost too. Why would the authorities suddenly be searching for him? Until we got that tip, everyone thought he was dead. Maybe they... I'm gonna name them for now. 
only because I want to keep track of them, and then we can figure out if that, those Got are right. Too. Anyway, what have you found so far? I haven't locked down Ghost yet, but I did find his plan B. Plan B? Pure coincidence, actually. The TV remote went missing, you see, and the button on the TV doesn't work either. It got me curious, so one day I volunteered to cover Ray's night shift. After everyone left the room, I opened the TV set. Guess what I found? Oh. So whoever Oscar is, and I named him Oscar because he sounds like an Oscar, uh, is a caretaker as well because he took over Ray's shift, who is a caretaker. So Oscar, actually, we don't know if it's Oscar. I feel like he's an Oscar. Bomb. Okay, we'll Bingo. figure it out anyone turns that thing on it'll explode i bet that's probably why he took the remote that's further proof it was ghost who blew up the police station to kill his crew and fake his own death but why would he plant another one in the same place he's hiding that's why i said it must be his plan b sure the hospital's been a safe place to lay low but someone clearly knows he's still alive Otherwise, they wouldn't have put a bounty on his head and we wouldn't be in here. Ghost probably planted the bomb for just such an occasion as this. He can blow the place sky high and vanish into the wind again. Poof! Sounds right up his alley. Anyone who sees his face dies. Not this time. <laughs> Check this out. What the hell is that thing? Looks like some kind of sci-fi gizmo. It's a microcontroller infrared scrambler. Got it from a catalog for $29.95. Batteries not included. I don't get it. This is my plan B. When Ghost tries to blow this whole place to smithereens, this thing will jam the signal from the remote. The TV won't go boom, and we grab whoever's holding the clicker. Now that's smart. Then all we have to do is cuff them and collect our reward. Before the cops swoop in and steal all the credit. Huh? Yes, every time. Is that the alarm? What the hell? I didn't even know this hospital had an alarm system. Stupid cops. They probably triggered the trap that Ghost set up. Fuck. Months of work down the drain. <laughs> what do we do now? Ghost is gonna have to make a move now. So let's go nab the son of a bitch. All right. I'll follow your lead. The day room is the best place to start. He ain't in the library or the exam rooms, so he'll have to come through the- Hmm. I'm just thinking because Ray had the remote before and then he gave it- He, he let Oscar steal it. Very maestro-y of him. Um, let me go here really quickly. There's nobody else, right? I, I named everybody else on the checkoff. Did I already check this already? The phone call? I might have. Because he had Jennifer's phone. But again, I don't know why that would matter. Um, let's see where James and Oscar were the whole time. Oh, was that? Okay. Oscar? Okay. I mean, that would make sense about the Oscar thing because the guy who was pretending to be the, the head, I guess, director, right? Um, was saying that he pretends to work here when he doesn't. I mean, he does work there okay so mr director or silver spoon how does this work because of the answering oh it's one person right can i check off more oh i can check off more okay sorry allowing you to escape from the bleakness of your own okay. reality so I'm going to go back here because I keep promising to go back and I have not. Okay, so I am going to see. Okay, this is when they're entering in. But they told James that they want him gone. So we're here now. Thanks, Dre. 
I'm gonna slit his fucking throat. You hear that, huh, Doc? Yep, this huh? is where he's saying he wants fucking... James gone. Gone. It's safe to talk now. Damn, Tony, Tony, my man. Look at you in uniform. Could have fooled even me. Keep your voice down. Though, uh, I could say the same about you. You almost gave me a scare <laughs> with all that crazy talk. What's it called again? Rabies, idiot. Elvira. <laughs> Charming as always, I see. Jokes aside, what have you found? There's a whole lot of people out there that have got their eyes on Ghost's secret stash. You look around at all? Eh, not much. Already talked to two patients. Crazy guy called Mr. Director and some thief. Gotta say, they both seem totally fucked up, to put it mildly. What about you? Who did you talk to? Just some delusional reporter. Oh, and a schizophrenic called Silver Spoon. Just like you said, though, both a hundred percent loony. Guess we're on the same page, then. Wait, so you haven't found anything yet? So why'd you call us up here? I didn't see him, but I know where to find him. How so? Process of elimination. At first, I didn't know what to do. No one seemed to be faking it. But then I discovered seclusion room number four at the end of this very hallway. Never seen it unlocked, but I know someone's inside because the caregiver brings food there twice a day. So I played the manic card and I beat up a doctor named George, which got me thrown in here. Now I can keep an eye on things from the privacy of right next door. And if all the other patients are legit crazy, whoever's in that room is ghost. I mean, the logic fits, right? Well, look at you, Sherlock McMurphy. All right, then. Time to see who's behind door number four. Get the key from the doctor, Elvira. Wait. Something doesn't add up. What about the escaped patient? Patient number 68. Could he be ghost? Nah. Think about it. Why would Ghost want to get out? He got himself committed on purpose, remember? To hide from people who want his money and his life. He knows he's a dead man if he gets out. You have a point. Okay, I'll get the key. Hey, I got a question for you. Your hospital gown doesn't even have a pocket. Where'd you get the phone to call us? That, my friend, is courtesy of Klepp. You met him? He gave you a phone? Klepp is... how should I put it? He's definitely crazy. But man, oh man, can that fucker steal. All he's got to do is greet a doctor, and he's got their phone. No wonder he tried to get close to me earlier. Bumped into me, actually. In fact, wait. Where's my phone? <laughs> Jesus. Big time hitman got played by a small time thief. Hey, why'd you knock out George? What did he do? <laughs> was in the way. Wanted us. Okay, so we heard that part already. I want to see where Ray is. Maybe he's talking. I just, I just have this feeling that he is ghost. Let's see. So I can get. Hmm. Interesting. Cause Dwight. Dwight had an interesting voice with the police station. Uh, what does he sound like again? I don't know if he sounds the same. Nelly has to be in there. One condition. Just say it. Wh whatever you want me to do, I'll do it. Within my power, of course. You... Dwight was Raven, right? So a different guy. The same... Same thing, where they blow up everybody. Okay. Uh, I just want to see if the... The answer for... Um, if I got the names right. Okay, let's see. So who is crazy? Not crazy, I'm so sorry. They keep saying loony and crazy and it's stuck in my head. Who is a mental patient? Uh, let's see. So, 
Uh, we know that Oscar, Ray, Jennifer, Mr. Director is definitely one. Clap is one. Emily is one. She does not say anything else besides sing, which is adorable. Nellie is a reporter. Maestro's in here. George is a doctor. James is also a nurse. Jennifer is a doctor. Oscar is a nurse. McMurphy is fake. And then these are the fake cops. Okay, so who is Ghost? I want to say Ray, but I'm also wondering if it's Jennifer. Because her phone had been taken. But she was knocked. Oh, but we don't know if Ray was knocked out cold either. Definitely not Maestro. He's getting all sorts of hypnotized. Let's just put that for now. Okay, let me see. Uh, so we have... You need to answer all two questions. Right now you have one correct answer. All 14 sound sources need to have... Oh, okay. So Oscar and... What's his face? So Oscar and James need to be switched. I can 100% agree that that was probably the reason why that didn't work. I only had one answer that didn't work. I'm going to say Ray. Yeah, let's try it. Did it. Okay. Wait. No, I didn't mean that. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, do it again. Closed case. Excellent work, detective. This game is so good. One last question for you. Are we in the mental hospital? I have just one last question for you. Who are you? Oh. Oh, I can't even walk around. Who am I? Huh. I didn't expect this at all. Huh. Okay. So we have eight choices. Tyler was the guy in the beginning. I don't think we're him. Or Cameron. That's the twin brother. We have number 20, number 20, number 68, uh, the Mr. Director, Maestro, Emily, Clap, Tyler. And then patient number 68. I can't choose for her. Okay, number 68. Hmm? Since you already know you're one of our patients, we'll move forward with your treatment. Here, Got it right. this pill will help calm and center you. I knew it was suspicious. Okay, I knew it was suspicious when she said, we're gonna hear voices. And I was like, that's not, that's like some kind of superpower, but it's not, it's, it's not the best thing in the world. Why are they glowing? I could click the ashtray. Cause I don't want to take a pill. I don't, it's apparently the pill's gonna make me go sleep. What happened? Oh! God, Jennifer? What happened to you? Wake up! Guys, I love this game. 
Okay, so while that's going, from what I heard, uh, the DLC for this one apparently is only in Chinese. Which is unfortunate because I actually don't understand Chinese at all. <laughs> and I, I assume that you guys don't either since you watch this video, unless you do, then that's awesome too. But I wish I could play because that'd be fun. I'm going to check it out anyway and just to double check. But this game is amazing. It was really, really good. I'll let the credits roll. Oh god, the voice acting. Like, come on. That was just like, you were so into it. And then the end? The ending? Wow. I know it's like a lot of sitting and listening, but it, it was really great. I, I really liked it a lot. A lot of great work. Very, very different too. I don't think there's any game that can say that is even comparable to this. Very, very different. I liked it a lot. I said that a lot, but I do. I do. <laughs> great job. Wonderful game. Good music. I still can't get over when Maestro was being hypnotized and then it ended up being us. What if we had chose Maestro? Would that be different? Can we play certain parts of the chapter or no? So good. What's this? Oh, we can't. Okay, we're gonna do that. We're gonna do that. I wanna, I wanna check out. <laughs> Click to download the D DLC, the Lethal Script. Okay, we'll check that out too. Well, at least I'll try. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to the uh, hospital and we are gonna actually replay the ending. And I'm gonna say a maestro, just to see. Okay, guys. So I finished the rest, so we're gonna go back. So we're choosing Excellent maestro work, this time. Detective. I have just one last question for you. I have just one last question for you. Who are you? Yeah, won't even let me click on Jennifer. I'm sorry, detective, but you've failed the test. <sighs> I had hoped it wouldn't turn out like this. You were doing quite well at the beginning. But, well, things started to unravel towards the end. It's sadly clear. You don't even know who you are anymore. I'm sorry, but we're going to have to. What'd you do? Oh, amnesia. Achievement unlock. Okay. Interesting. Alright, guys. This is such a good game. Like I said before, I'm gonna check out the DLC. Lethal script. And I will let you guys know if I can upload that. But I hope you enjoyed this episode. I know this was the final one. What a great game. Anyways. <laughs> I hope you have a great day. A great night. And I'll be seeing you soon. Not work, detective. Guys. I have just one last question for you. I didn't leave yet. I forgot that there's two choices. If you choose... I have just one last question for you. So we're going to choose the pills. Who... Are you? And we're gonna see what happens. Yes, who are we? We are number 68. Yes. Okay, number 68. Hmm? Since you already know you're one of our patients, we'll move forward with your treatment. Here, this pill will help calm and center you. Yeah, give us the drugs. Let's do it. Ooh. The drugs ain't mine! That? My painting has not been lost. lost. <laughs> now, fuck. Not me. Don't believe them! Don't take the 
test. Wake up. Oh, that was good. Okay. All right. All right. Now <laughs> I'm going to sign off, but I need to choose the other option and show you guys. But yeah, that was really good. All right. Uh, if you like this, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment if you, there are any other games you'd like me to play. Again, I will look into the DLC. Hopefully, it is in English now. And I will keep you guys updated. So, I'll see you soon. Bye.